Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game from Scratch, and today we are talking about a brand new sample from Unity. Now, I was really hoping with this news, I knew it was coming up in GDC, I was hoping they were going to release the full thing, but instead this is just an announcement of something coming soon. And it is Gagaya, a brand new starter sample for Unity. They launched a uh, video on it so you can see an idea of what it is all about. I'm not going to watch the entire thing, but at least you get an idea of kind of the graphical capabilities of Gagaya. It is a uh, platformer style game written to kind of showcase and dog food the experience of using Unity. Basically, Unity used their tools in-house to create this demo to showcase to Unity developers how to develop best practices using Unity, but also so that they have hands-on experience with the uh, tools themselves to make sure that everything is working right. A practice, again, called dog fooding. So you can see bits of it in action. Very good looking demo for sure. And the interesting thing is they actually decided to go with the ERP or the Universal Render Pipeline. I know that noise the hell out of some of you when I say that. So, hey, I'm going to keep saying it. So, yep, they use the ERP instead of the HDRP. So this should run on a wider swath of hardware out there. And on top of that, it's probably more applicable to most of you. So here you can see it is running in the Unity editor. It is called Gagaya. Hopefully we get to see the actual download soon. But in the meantime, we have some information available at unity.com forward slash demos for slash Gagaya, which I will have in the linked article down below. So here we are at that exact website. Here you can see a, a kind of an overview of it. You can watch the video yourself, the entire thing with audio available right there. Uh, it's a living game sample, so that means they're going to keep updating it over time. Unity team is creating and powering with Unity Tech. Uh, see how the ecosystem Unity tools and features work together to enable creators like you to realize all kinds of creative ambitions. Jump into the world of... Oh, Okay, Karel, uh, to find inspiration on how to bring your own game to life. Use Gagaya as a learning tool to level up your skills from programming to artistry and engage with us as we continue to shape and evolve Gagaya. Um, so there is a blog post. We're going to check that out in just a second. Here you can see what Gagaya can do to help you. So it'll spark your creative ambitions. It's more than a sample project. It's a fully customizable, playable game slice into the realm of wherever and learn how to leverage Unity Tech to realize your creative vision. Now, a vertical slice of gameplay basically is exactly what it sounds like. What they do is a fully um, fleshed out piece of gameplay, but a very small piece. This is a very often used as a proof of concept or a demo pitch to try and get people to you know publish your game. Um, and it also is a good way of showcasing all of the features and functionality you need to run a game will be in a slice. Uh, use it as a learning tool to refine your programming design and artistry skills. A steady stream of dev-centric content helps you access key learning from the game's creator. So there's going to be tutorials and companions to go along with this. Uh, so also in terms of artistry and workflow from blockers to final art, see how Unity rendering technologies pair with artistry tools like Pro Builder, Cinemachine, and Shader Graph to power a world that captivates from its very first pixels and learn programming and pattern techniques, prototype, build, uh, optimize performant game experiences with speed and efficiency from programming gameplay with C-sharp uh, to designing scalable systems and um, even optimizing for platforms. And then finally, uh, it's an evolving project. So it follow the evolution as a living sample that grows and changes over time in deep dives, dev diaries, and more. So there is going to be a companion set of um, updates going on. If you want to sign up for it, you can do so. Basically, this will ping you when it is available, so on and so forth. Uh, also, as I mentioned earlier on, this there is a corresponding blog post that goes through uh, the Gagaya example in a little bit more detail. Uh pretty much a lot of the same uh, details available. Unfortunately, it's not available as a download yet, but it will be at some point. You'll be able to download the gameplay portion on Steam and the code off of GitHub. Um, in terms of the technical details, it was developed using uh, from by 15 creators, including programmers, artists, designers, and producers. Uh, Gagaya team is not bound to any, any specific product or feature. This unique structure gives perspective into the challenges that indie and mid-sized studios face while trying to ship successful games. So again, it is an example of dog fooding and hopefully the practice of developing something like this in-house uh, also kind of shows them how to better evolve the tools, you know, to work in a real world uh, kind of environment. Uh, so we also did things like remote collaboration and so on. So hopefully that experience also translates to improving the Unity in the future. Uh, Guy will eventually be free to download and experiment with serving as a point of inspiration and a learning opportunity. It'll be the first ever Unity demo to go through the full product lifecycle and be published as a free example game on Steam. By having the project go through the full journey from concept to release, we're finding new perspectives on the development process and identifying strengths and weaknesses. The ultimate goal in releasing Gagaya on Steam is not to compete with other 
other developers, but to help identify their pain points and offer solutions to uh, help level up creators of all sizes. As I mentioned earlier on, it uses the Universal Render Pipeline or ERP. Um, render pipelines are always a hot topic and Gagaya is no exception. Production team debated which pipeline would be the best for the project, ultimately deciding to use Universal Render Pipeline for its cross-platform portability and popularity. Since then, uh, Gagaya has been developed to showcase how ERP can be used to create a stylized and unique visual experience that works across a wide range of platforms. Uh, a little bit more details on how they worked with it. They did things, uh, used features such as decals, shader graph, VFX graphs, and post-processing, to name just a few. Uh, and we've got uh, platformer character movie. Uh, Wandu is the main character. Uh, feels responsive is a key element of Gagaya, and a great deal of effort has gone into creating a robust and modular character controller. Outfitted with a jetpack and arm blasters, faces a variety of challenges the game world while providing uh, an example of many Unity features working together, uh, such as scriptable objects, rigid body physics, and animations uh, to achieve optimal platforming experiences. You can see some of the things he's can doing. And in terms of what is coming in the future, uh, they will continue to develop Gaga um, Gagaya over the coming months with an expected release in 2022. That is quite vague. Uh, once completed, the, the sample game, including its assets and source code, will be free for all Unity users to download and experiment with, and you'll be able to download a built version of it on the Steam store. Uh, so again, it's kind of a learning experience. There's going to be blogs and tutorials, etc. that go along with it. I wonder how many of those they'll be releasing in advance to the actual availability of the source code. Uh, but it is a slice of gameplay experience to show you how you can create your own platformer style game uh, using the universal render pipeline and the modern workflow in the Unity engine. On top of that, again, it is a good dog fooding experience for the Unity team of, what was it again, 15 developers? Um, to kind of across broad genre of tasks and roles to get an experience of what it is like to work with their own product and hopefully will result in a better development internally. Uh, by the way, if you're interested in something like this, but instead for Unreal Engine 5, Unreal also did an announcement very similar. They released a game called Stack Open bots uh, and it is available as an Unreal Engine 5 early project so if you are not using uh, the Unity game engine but you'd like to have something very similar to this it's got a fully rigged uh, animated character um, uses Nanite, Lumen, Metasound and all the other various bits and pieces kind of showcasing another vertical slice of gameplay in a platformer format but on the um, Unreal Engine 5 platform instead. It's actually the smallest, most self-contained Unreal Engine 5 demo that you can get right now. The other one is just massive. So if you want, there is Stackobots as well. Uh, but this, ladies and gentlemen, is not Stackobots. This is Gagaya. I hope I'm saying that right, by the way. Uh, there will be details available. Uh, if you want to have advanced information, you can hit the sign-up links right now. Or you can just head on over here once again to unity.com forward slash demos forward slash Gagaya. Uh, you can check out the full video what's going on. Again, I'm kind of a little bummed that this wasn't actually released today instead of just being announced. Hopefully it is available soon and hopefully it's actually using things like um, job system and uh, entities, burst compiler and all that because a lot of people are just having trouble grokking how dots work. So a good working example using the dot systems would actually be very nice. Uh, so anyways, that is it. That is Gagaya. Uh, unfortunately, not available for download yet, but an interesting project coming soon. Let me know what you think. Uh, comments down below and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.